Demand is the amount of product that the customers are ready to purchase at a given price and time. The conditions of demand are desire for a commodity, purchasing power, willingness to pay. Again, supply is the amount of commodity that the sellers are able and willing to offer for sale at a certain price and time. Law of demand. The law of demand is a microeconomic law that states all other factors remain constant. If the price of a product decreases, consumers' demand for the product increases, and vice versa. Demand schedule. It is a table that shows a range of prices for a certain good or service and the quantity demanded at each price. This is a demand schedule. This table shows the price for each gallon of gasoline and the change of demand with change of price of each gallon. According to the law of demand, as the price increases, the demand for gasoline falls, and as the price decreases, the demand for gasoline increases. The law of supply is the microeconomic law that states that. All other factors being equal, as the price of a good or service increases, the quantity of goods or services that suppliers offer will increase. And again, if the price of a good or service decreases, the quantity of goods or services that suppliers offer will decrease eventually. Supply schedule. Supply schedule is a table that shows a range of prices for a good or service and the quantity supplied at each price. This is a supply schedule. This table shows the price for each gallon of gasoline and the change of supply with change of price of each gallon. According to the law of supply, as the price increases, the supply increases from supplier's end, and as the price decreases, the supply also decreases from supplier's end. Now, from the demand schedule we will get the demand curve, and from the supply schedule we will get the supply curve. The demand curve is a graphical representation of the relationship between price and quantity demanded of a certain good or service, with quantity on the horizontal axis and the price on the vertical axis. This is a demand curve plotted from the data from the demand schedule. With demand quantity of gasoline on the horizontal axis, and the price per gallon of gasoline along the vertical axis, demand curves will appear somewhat different for each product. They may appear relatively steep or flat or they may be straight or curved. Nearly all demand curves share the fundamental similarity that they slope down from left to right. Similarly, the supply curve is a line that shows the relationship between price and quantity supplied on a graph, with quantity supplied on the horizontal axis and price on the vertical axis on a graphical plot. This is a supply curve plotted from the data from the supply schedule. With supply quantity of gasoline on the horizontal axis, and the price per gallon of gasoline along the vertical axis. The shape of supply curves will vary somewhat according to the product, steeper, flatter, straighter, or curved. Nearly all supply curves, however, share a basic similarity, they slope up from left to right and illustrate the law of supply, as the price rises, say, from $1 per gallon to $2.20 per gallon. The quantity supplied increases from 500 gallons to 720 gallons. Conversely, as the price falls, the quantity supplied decreases. Equilibrium, where demand and supply intersect. Because the graphs for demand and supply curves both have price on the vertical axis and quantity on the horizontal axis, the demand curve and supply curve for a particular good or service can appear on the same graph. Together, Demand and supply determine the price and the quantity that will be bought and sold in a market. This figure illustrates the interaction of demand and supply in the market for gasoline. The demand curve, D, is identical to this figure of demand curve. The supply curve, S, is identical to this figure of supply curve. This contains the same information in tabular form. Remember that, when two lines on a diagram cross, this intersection usually means something. The point where the supply curve, S, and the demand curve, D, cross, designated by point E in this figure, is called the equilibrium. The equilibrium price is the only price where the plans of consumers and the plans of producers agree, that is, where the amount of the product consumers want to buy, quantity demanded, is equal to the amount producers want to sell, quantity supplied. This common quantity is called the equilibrium quantity. At any other price, the quantity demanded does not equal the quantity supplied, 
so the market is not in equilibrium at that price. The word equilibrium means balance. If a market is at its equilibrium price and quantity, then it has no reason to move away from that point. However, if a market is not at equilibrium, then economic pressures arise to move the market toward the equilibrium price and the equilibrium quantity. At any price above equilibrium, the quantity supplied exceeds the quantity demanded. We call this an excess supply or a surplus. With a surplus, gasoline accumulates at gas stations, in tanker trucks, in pipelines, and at oil refineries. This accumulation puts pressure on gasoline sellers. If a surplus remains unsold, those firms involved in making and selling gasoline are not receiving enough cash to pay their workers and to cover their expenses. In this situation, some producers and sellers will want to cut prices, because it is better to sell at a lower price than not to sell at all. Once some sellers start cutting prices, others will follow to avoid losing sales. These price reductions in turn will stimulate a higher quantity demanded. So, if the price is above the equilibrium level, incentives built into the structure of demand and supply will create pressures for the price to fall toward the equilibrium. Again, when the price is below equilibrium, there is excess demand, or a shortage, that is, at the given price the quantity demanded, which has been stimulated by the lower price, now exceeds the quantity supplied, which had been depressed by the lower price. In this situation, eager gasoline buyers mob the gas stations, only to find many stations are running short of fuel. Oil companies and gas stations recognize that they have an opportunity to make higher profits by selling what gasoline they have at a higher price. As a result, the price rises toward the equilibrium level. So, let's look at the terms we just learned under demand and supply. The demand curve is a graphic representation of the relationship between price and quantity demanded of a certain good or service, with quantity on the horizontal axis and the price on the vertical axis. The demand schedule is a table that shows a range of prices for a certain good or service and the quantity demanded at each price. Demand is the relationship between price and the quantity demanded of a certain good or service. The equilibrium price is the price where quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied. The equilibrium quantity is the quantity at which quantity demanded and quantity supplied are equal for a certain price level. Equilibrium is the situation where quantity demanded is equal to the quantity supplied, the combination of price and quantity where there is no economic pressure from surpluses or shortages that would cause price or quantity to change. Excess demand is a situation in which at the existing price, the quantity demanded exceeds the quantity supplied, it is also called a shortage. Excess supply is a situation in which at the existing price, quantity supplied exceeds the quantity demanded, also called a surplus. The law of demand states the common relationship that a higher price leads to a lower quantity demanded of a certain good or service and a lower price leads to a higher quantity demanded, while all other variables are held constant. The law of supply shows the common relationship that a higher price leads to a greater quantity supplied and a lower price leads to a lower quantity supplied, while all other variables are held constant. Prices what a buyer pays for a unit of the specific good or service. The quantity demanded is the total number of units of a good or service consumers are willing to purchase at a given price. The quantity supplied is the total number of units of a good or service producers are willing to sell at a given price. Shortage is a situation in which, at the existing price, the quantity demanded exceeds the quantity supplied, also called excess demand. The supply curve is a line that shows the relationship between price and quantity supplied on a graph with quantity supplied on the horizontal axis and price on the vertical axis. The supply schedule is a table that shows a range of prices for a good or service and the quantity supplied at each price. Supply is the relationship between price and the quantity supplied of a certain good or service. And finally, surplus is a situation in which, at the existing price, quantity supplied exceeds the quantity demanded, it is also called excess supply.